Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. For this brush, let's do something different that takes advantage of the mixing capabilities of the Procreate brush builder and create a brush that's going to be your next favorite, the wet paint brush. It's a brush that allows you to create realistic wet paint strokes that pulls and blends colors when applied on top of each other. It creates a versatile paint stroke that goes from light and streaky to full and opaque so you can create the art that you want. So let's get started and make this brush. This is the dual brush so let's create the first of two by choosing a brush library. This is one that I created for the channel so you can do the same and name it whatever you want. Tap on the plus sign here to make a new brush. In stroke path, set stroke property spacing to 5% and Jitter also to 5%. In Stabilization, set your preferred Streamline settings. In Shape, tap on Edit beside Shape Source, tap Import, and choose Source Library. From the selections, choose Flat Brush 2. Tap Done twice to save selection. Under Shape Behavior, set Scatter to 1, and Count Jitter to one as well. Turn on Azimuth. In Grain, go to the Grain Source Library and choose Bark. Under Grain Behavior, set Movement to Stamp, Scale to 25%, Zoom to 15%, and Blend Mode to Subtract. Down here, set Brightness to 40% and Contrast to Max. In Rendering, set Rendering Mode to Intense Blending. Under Blending, set Wet Edges to Max. Here in Wet Mix is where we activate the Wet Paint effect. Set Wet Mix Dilution to 55%, Charge to 65%, Attack to 25%, Pull to Max, and Grade to Smooth. In Apple Pencil, set Pressure Opacity to None, Flow to Max, and Tilt Angle to 0 degrees. Finally, in Properties, set Brush Behavior Maximum Size to 150%. And that's our first brush. Let's duplicate this brush and make a few changes in the brush settings for our second brush. In Stroke Path, set Stroke Properties Jitter to 0. In Shape, go into the Shape Source Library and change it to Flat Marker. Under Shape Behavior, set Scatter to None, Rotation to Follow Stroke, and count jitter to none. In grain, set grain behavior scale to 55%, zoom to follow size, rotation to 10%, and brightness to negative 10%. Finally, in Apple Pencil, set pressure flow to zero. Now that we have our two brushes, let's combine them by highlighting this first brush we created, then swiping right on the second brush and choosing Combine. Now, one last thing, go into the brush settings, tap on the top brush of the two, and in Combine mode, tap here and scroll down and choose Hard Mix. Each paint stroke Pulse the colors of the previous stroke to create this realistic paint mixing effect when painting on the same layer. Press hard for an opaque full stroke. And press lightly for a streaky watery effect. And there you have it, a new kind of brush for a new kind of art style. Hope you enjoyed making this one, and if you did, be sure to like the video, it helps the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and until next brush, take care, 
and I'll see you then. Bye!